Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode of Across Indiana. Why is it called Across Indiana, you may wonder? Well, if you don't already know, we opened a second store in Memphis, Indiana, which is just 20 minutes north of Louisville. We want to make sure and showcase all of the amazing units that we have here at our Newcastle store, as well as our Memphis store. So each week, or maybe every other week, we'll see how it goes. I, Dan, am going to show you a couple of units that we have here at our Newcastle store, and then I'm going to kick it down to Ryan at the Memphis store to show you some of the things that they have going on. So before I show you a couple of the units, I do want to make you guys aware that we do have our spectacular sales event going on now, featuring a ton of great camper deals. We also have all of our 2023s and our blowout sale. Where can you find this? Every day when we post on Facebook, we include a link on this, but you can also visit walnutridgerv.com and find this deal. There's also a link on the website to go to our Louisville store, our Memphis store, interchangeable. So anyway, I'm going to set this down, and I thought I would show you a couple of the units that are in the spectacular, sorry, spooktacular sales event that kind of have a central theme. So I'm going to show you a couple of sports. I don't know why I did air quotes, but sports. So behind me, we have the Hideout 240BH. So it's a hideout sport. The other one I'm going to show you in a minute is a Cougar Sport. So we'll take a look here. As you can see, beautiful exterior. I love what they've done on these new front caps. They went all dark on it. Looks really good if you have a dark truck. We have electronic stabilizer jacks, which you don't see a lot on the entry level campers, but you have electronic stabilizer jacks, electronic um, front jack. We've got a nice big powered awning with LED lights. Pass through storage up here. There is zero reason why you couldn't fit a table, several chairs in there. Um, maybe if you twisted it right, you might be able to get a cornhole board in there. I'm not sure. Back here at the back, we have more storage. So whatever you couldn't fit up there, you've got plenty of room back here to fit. You do have your spare tire back here. And you are, are also, I can't talk today, you are also rear camera, uh, backup camera prepped. So what that means is that little piece will pop right off of there. You purchase the backup camera, pop it in there, you're good to go. Uh, outside speakers. You also do have uh, power out here if you want to run a TV and sit out here. It is football season, so if you want to sit out and watch the game, let's go jump on the inside. So we're standing inside that 240BH. I want to point out that we are looking at a bunk house model, and we're only a little over 5,000 pounds. So this is a fantastic entry-level camper for those that have a family but don't have a big tow vehicle. So at the back, we have what they call double over double bunks. So they're double wide, 300 pound capacity on that top bunk. You're good to go on the bottom bunk, but plenty of space. And there's no reason why adults can't sleep there. So uh, let's say you don't have kids, but you have a lot of friends that want to go camping with you. You've got space there. Uh, hunters, you want space for your friends. You've got it there. Bathroom. We have a stand up shower. And of course, here, I'll let you come back here, Lainey. We've got our stand-up shower that actually has ample space. I'm like six foot tall, but because you've got your vent up here, you've got plenty of space. Toilet, of course. And then we have our sink with storage below it. Max air fan to pull out the humidity and any stinky things that might happen in here, which is nice. In addition to being able to sleep people here, so let's say you get, let's just go conservative. You get one there, one there. You also have this beautiful booth dinette that will turn into a sleeping area so you can sleep additional people here. Directly above that booth dinette, we have some storage cabinets so you can keep your board games, pillows, blankets, whatever you want. A place to mount a TV in here so you can put that on a swivel so you can pull it out, watch it from the bunks, or pull it out and watch it from the bed, which I'll show you in a minute. Don't you get excited, lady, and start moving on me. Kitchen area, nice big kitchen area for such a small camper. You've got a nice big refrigerator freezer combo, microwave. You do have a two burner stove, probably not going to use that. You're camping, why cook? Use the microwave, cook outside on the fire. Huge 
sink, huge sink. Um, I love the black too. They've kind of pulled that black in in different areas in the camper and on that front cap looks super sharp. You've got your sofa here, which will sleep at least another person. So we're at one, two, three, four, four people so far in this at only 5,000 pounds. And then last but certainly not least, we come to the bedroom. So we've got our queen-sized bed, storage underneath that bed. You have nightstands on both sides of the bed. So you have plenty of room for like CPAP machine, iPhones, iPads, Androids, whatever your choice is, charging on both sides. You also have this, which I don't know what you would put up there. I would put pillows and blankets up there, whatever. You have the his and hers closet on each side. I am a camper. If you don't watch my videos, you, you now know that I am a camper and I just call it hers and hers because I don't have any storage in the camper. You can also have a TV back here if you want, and you do have a curtain to partition this off. So if you want to lay back here in the evening and escape whatever's going on out here, you can pull the curtain closed, watch TV back here. So that's about it for this Cougar Sport. Not a Cougar Sport, hideout sport. Now I'm going to jump over to the Cougar Sport. So, Lady, let's go. So here we are in the beautiful Cougar Sport 2100 RL. Yes, I did just cheat because I couldn't remember the name of it. Anyway, beautiful camper. So what is a Cougar Sport? It's a lighter weight Cougar fifth wheel. So it's for those that love the Cougar and all the features and amenities that come in a Cougar but they're looking at a lighter weight package. So we're in a fifth wheel that weighs just shy of 7,000 pounds. So very towable by a half ton truck and still all of the things that you come to love about a Cougar. So we have a rear kitchen in this. So in rear kitchens, you typically get a lot more space. We have a ton of countertop space. We've upgraded to a three burner stove in this, still have our microwave, nice deep stainless steel sink with the chef sprayer lots and lots of storage below we have that fridge freezer combo again plenty of room for a good week's worth of groceries if you want in there another booth dinette so this will again turn into a sleeping area this one has your tv right above it with your bluetooth cd dvd player right there that will control your inside and your outside speakers directly across from that we have our nice tall slide with our jackknife sofa. So this is gonna sleep additional people. And you will notice that technically it's called a carpetless slide. It looks like a carpet, but it's not. This is that indoor outdoor stuff. And I've had it in a couple of my campers. It's super easy to clean if you get spills or whatever on it. And it's actually a lot better if you have pets, it sweeps up easier. So now I'm gonna take you back to the bathroom and the bedroom. Bathroom again is gonna feature another uh, stand up shower. We have a porcelain toilet this time. So the porcelain toilets are nice because you can use any cleaning chemical on those. Sink with storage below, as well as your medicine cabinet. And I feel like Vanna White right now. Or what was those? Uh, Barker's Beauties for those of you that used to watch Wheel of Fortune. I don't know how to do the hand thing. But anyway, uh, Max Air Vent in here, again, to pull out the humidity and the stinky. We come back here in the bedroom. We have a queen bed again that does have storage underneath it. We've got his and hers closets again, or hers and hers closets. More storage up here. You can actually, this is a 50 amp service camper, so you can actually have a second AC in here if you wish to. Big nightstands on both sides of the bed with regular and USB charging, which is super nice. You can mount a TV here on the wall again. And over there we feature a bunch of uh, hanging space as well as drawers. So I wanted to show you a couple of the sports and things that were on the sale right now. But as you can see, we went from a smaller family travel trailer to a more uh, medium sized couple's fifth wheel that's still on the lighter side that you could very easily use as a family camper. So now I'm gonna kick it over to Ryan at our Memphis store to show you a little bit about what they have going on down there and then we'll jump back here. So Ryan, all you buddy. Thank you so much, Dan. This is Walnut Ridge across Indiana, and you've just traveled across Indiana down to our Memphis location, located right off of Interstate 65, right here in Memphis, Indiana, off of exit 16, just 20 minutes north of Louisville, Kentucky. Guys, 
Check out all of our inventory. You can't even see it all. You got the beautiful flag waving in the background. And I want you guys to take a look at our store's spooktacular savings event on our website. Guys, you can go to it at any time, but check it out. What I'm going to show you right now is the ultimate bunkhouse. This is the Wildwood 33 TSX behind me. Guys, I'll show you a little bit about it, but come out and check it out for yourself. So, of course, the first thing you notice is that nice smooth side. That is the fiberglass side. You have a power tongue jack up front here. You can't see it, but this does have a 200-watt solar panel already mounted on the roof. You have the accessibility, enclosed underbelly. You have the solid steps right here, nice and sturdy for bigger guys like me. You come to the back here. Got a nice large outside kitchen, guys. There's a, a grill on the back of this that swings around. But come check this bad boy out on the inside. First off, you walk in here, you turn to your right, you're going to notice the, ma the master bedroom. You've got a big king bed slide here, massive wardrobe here, and then, of course, you have your walk-in closet with washer-dryer prep. Guys, this is just one of the cool things about this coach. Let's take a look at the rest of it. Of course, you've got TV hookup. You've got dresser drawer, or excuse me, drawers down here. Come in here. You got lots of countertop space for your kitchen. You've got a fireplace sitting right below your entertainment area. Cable hookup, everything you need there with your sound bar. Your kitchen goes right across to this Versa Lounge. Guys, I love this thing because you can lay it flat to make a bed. Or you can bring this guy down and they even provide the totes for extra storage. Those are going to be under your booth dinette as well. Of course, that booth dinette also turns into a bed. You come back here, you got your 12 volt refrigerator. This is a 10 cubic foot 12 volt. So you can fit whatever you want in there. Stays cold with your batteries going down the road. And then you got your big corner walk in shower with an actual medicine cabinet. Storage below that as well. Plenty of room for your toiletries and everything. And then your foot flush toilet. Even more storage right here, guys. Plenty of room for a nice big pantry. We'll put whatever you want in there. And then check it out, the best part. Come back here. You got plenty of space for the kiddos or, you know, you got other adults or whoever with you. There's plenty of room back here. You got the steps leading up to the bunk over here. This bunk does lay flat, give you extra room here. This one's folded up to give you more head space. But if you need it, it comes down. And gives you the, the ability to sleep. And then, of course, right here, I think this is super cool where they put the steps. They have given you tons of storage space here. Guys, this is Walnut Ridge across Indiana. Thanks for traveling down to Memphis with us today. Take a look at that spooktacular ad. And, hey, this is one of the ones featured in it for a great price, the Wildwood 33 TSX. I'm Ryan Zikafoos. Back to you, Dan. Hey, thanks, Ryan. Things look absolutely beautiful down there at your store. Love the Wildwood. Appreciate you sharing that with us. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Across Indiana. Like I said, each week or every other week, we're going to try to do the exact same thing just to highlight what we have at both stores and make sure that you guys know that we have something for everyone. I think you could see that when I showed you a smaller family size travel trailer and then I took you to a more medium sized couples slash family fifth wheel and then you saw that wildwood travel trailer that they were offering down there at the memphis store as always thank you so much for watching if you want to know more about anything just drop us a comment down below i strongly suggest you follow both stores on facebook as we post multiple videos a days a day of different campers we're more than happy to take comments from you guys on things that you would like to see and definitely check out walnutridgerv.com you can link over to the Memphis store from there to see all that we have uh, on sale during our spooktacular sales event. Again, thank you so much and have a wonderful week.